Hey friends, welcome back to Essentially Jesse. I'm so glad you're here today. Today we're gonna battle it out between two of Moogler's most popular fragrances right now. Alien and Alien Essence Absolute. So let's get to it. So today we're gonna talk about Alien by Moogler. This is one of the most popular yet polarizing fragrances. I know a lot of my friends wear this fragrance and then some of my friends hate this fragrance. It is so potent. It's strong, it's bold, it's long lasting. You put it on and it is on. And it may be on the next day too, still. So it is a beautiful floral scent. So the notes are sandbag jasmine, cashmere and wood, and ambergris. Those are the only three notes listed. This is a very, very potent white floral fragrance. So if you like white florals, then this is definitely one that you should check out. The other cool thing about this is these are mostly in refillable bottles. I don't know if all of the bottles are refillable, but you can go to your local department store and get a refill and it costs a lot less than purchasing a whole additional fragrance bottle. So the bottle is beautiful. It almost looks like a jewel, like a purple jewel. This is the 60 ml or two fluid, two fluid ounces. I got the EDP version because I really wanted the stoutest version of this that I could get and I really like it. Another cool thing about Moogler is on their website, every time you make a purchase, your box comes with the code and you put your code in and eventually you get kind of insider information, new release, you know about new releases earlier and hopefully we'll get some freebies. Um, another great thing about Moogler's website, ordering from them directly, is that they usually come with five free samples, which is always fun because you get to try out new things. So I do like this, but it is very, very, very strong. I like the atomizer. It is a beautiful fragrance. This is probably the most popular flanker to date. This is Alien Essence Absolute, and this is the intense version. It comes in this tiny bottle, and honestly, I had a really hard time finding this. I don't understand, because it is so popular, why it's not available anymore. I would guess that they will bring this back because of its popularity. This is a beautiful balsamic amber vanilla definitely still a white floral. So where Alien is all white floral, this is like Alien with vanilla and caramel. This is just a little bit warmed up version of it. Whenever I picture someone wearing the original Alien, I see someone maybe in a white dress. This would be a great um, fragrance for a wedding. Um, whether it's your wedding or a wedding that you're attending, just don't overspray because it is, like I said, very bold. This one is also beast mode. So both of these fragrances are very potent. I just keep smelling them and I know that they'll be on my hands until tomorrow at least. <laughs> this is, uh, has vanilla in it and it is a white floral. It is a little bit powdery, but not too powdery, not overly powdery. But again, I don't understand why they've discontinued this at this point. This is the one ounce or the 30 ml bottle. I really don't understand why they've discontinued this because it is so popular. You can find it on eBay and it is marked up outrageously. Um, I did have to purchase this through eBay or Fragrance X. I cannot remember where I purchased this one because it's no longer on the website. But this is a beautiful fragrance. The original Alien was released in 2005, so it's been around a little while. While this one was released in, I believe, the summer of 2012. and. They have so many flankers. I know that there's one that's summery, maybe in a red bottle. There's one that's in a pink bottle. Alien has lots of flankers, but this by far I think is the most popular because it's all over YouTube. It's all over all the fragrance um, blogs where people are talking about it. I feel like this is more of a year round fragrance and I feel like this is almost more of a winter fragrance um, just because it's warm and caramely and vanilla, that type of thing. But I didn't feel bad about only getting a small bottle because it is so beast mode that I will probably never use this whole bottle just because it only takes a few sprays. And this too, I would say two sprays, maybe three max. These are very long lasting fragrances. They are great fragrances. Um, you just wanna smell them before you buy them. These are not blind buy fragrances by any means. 
because they are so stout. So the Alien Essence Absolute has two of the three notes listed from the original Alien. It has the jasmine and it has the cashmere and wood, but it also includes vanilla, amber, myrrh, and incense. I'm not sure that I pick up a ton of myrrh and incense. The top note is definitely still jasmine, but you can immediately tell that there is a burst of vanilla in this one that is not in the original Alien. So with all that being said, these are two great fragrances. Again, not blind buy. Do not blind buy these fragrances. You should be able to go to your local department store and smell this one for sure. Again, you may want to order a sample or a decant of this one online if you can find it, but it is a great fragrance. So while these are not blind buy worthy, and I certainly wouldn't blind buy these and give them as a gift, there is a Moogler fragrance that I love that is blind by worthy, and that is Angel Au Crossier 2020. I'll post a link so you can check out my extensive review. So I think out of this battle here, the Alien Essence Absolute wins. I just love the vanilla, the amber, the myrrh. It's just beautiful. It's a great fragrance. It's a beautiful bottle. If you can get your hands on one of these, do it. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of all future fragrance videos. See you guys next time.